This is getting very serious for quarter. Well, it was worth a go. A risky shot by Corda. Again, the serve working its little miracle. Ten minutes or so. Corder, when he broke to lead 3 2, he thought, well, now it's a formality. Now it's Pierlene who's looking to move ahead a break. by the Frenchman. Well, of course, this has always been uh, Peter's, Peter Corder's problem. I suppose they never do change their spots. You wonder, and you know why. He's only ever been to four major quarterfinals in his uh, career, which is ridiculously few. So Pierlene serving for the third set. Anybody thought this was going to happen, except maybe Pierlene. And those magical shots are no longer coming from the quarter racket. He's looking distinctly ordinary. Stunned silence in the crowd. They can't believe what's happened either. No, it's, it's quite incredible. Almost as if he's got so many good shots, no more has run out of them. Two set points. And even the straightforward ones he can't make anymore. And Cedric Pierline wins four successive games to claim the third set. Corder's lead is cut to two sets to one. Because purely in, in uh, fine form, difficult to stop. And that's, a, in the circumstances, a, a poor volley from purely in, indicating afterwards he should have gone deep just to keep up the pressure. If he'd seen Corder's uh, actions, hopping away, he's keen to get onto his toes, that was exactly the wrong shot to play. So much more like the quarter of the first two sets. Just blocking the ball back here. And 
two chances for quarter to break back. Well, he was keeping such good length there, Corder, that you half expected him to be given a, a much shorter shot from Pierlin. such a great rally the quarter celebrates because having lost six successive games and looking in real danger of squandering a two sets to love lead he's won two in a row <laughs> still a bit lively on the disco floor <laughs> yes as you say it was a shame really it had to end that way because uh, it was such a high class rally and yet it was the miss hit in the end that won quarter the rally who knows that he played a more straightforward backhand much as Regina used to play. He, uh, Corda, Corda may have presented Peeling with an easier volley. And those miss hits are very often difficult to handle. Two all in. One break of serve each early in the fourth. ruggedly built uh, Pierlin and uh, therefore physically very strong and equipped for a long battle here. Corder uh, much more wiry but I always get the feeling with Corder that uh, particularly now having won a tournament this year that he's match sharp. Just a little late, the call, and that's good umpiring from Javier Moreno because sensing that that call was a little late and might have caused some doubt in Peeling's mind, he was quick to come in and emphasize it. game for Peter Corder and his game is back in gear just in time he's ahead now 3-2 in the fourth well he's still looking to keep up the hard-hitting performance we've seen from him of late. 
and you can't deny him that because it's brought him back into it. But the head's got to keep down when making those hard shots. Precisely the form that put quarter two sets to love and a break in front. Yes, a lot of effort from Pelian goes into that, and quarter just cuts it short, hits it on the rise, a sweep of the arm, very flatly hit, and it almost uh, curves away. Oh, I think he's all right. He's already got one bloody knee. Yes, he's uh, quite a diver. I think he's trying to get into position here to set himself to dive again for this. Of course, um, lost the point and now in danger of his losing his serve for a second successive time, just as Corder did in the last set. A 40. I think he just wants the court uh, dry and a little bit of perspiration on it. Does that tell Corder he was going to serve volley? He wants it dry up there. Sensational play from Corder. Right back to his best. And he's back in front. <laughs> well, she's suffered for so long, of course, a top class player herself. They've been uh, married for five and a half years, uh, Peter and Regina. And uh, she's been through the bad times with him. And now uh, she's enjoying the good times. 4 2. Somebody was saying, uh, having seen Corder win in Qatar and having seen uh, Regina's lack of emotion or reaction afterwards, that she seemed pretty cool. But I, I, I don't think she is. They're, they're very close. And uh, I, th I think it's just that she's seen it so many times before, not only from him, but as a player herself. So try to, trying to control her emotions, as the Czechs tend to do, of course. I think also this year, if I remember, Peter won the first 10 games of the match, so that wasn't much of a contest. I remember her reaction when he won in Qatar two years ago, which was his first title after his hernia operation, first win for a long time, and she was pretty emotional then. Yes, that was much more of a resurrection. certainly resurrected his game. Tony Pickard in the stands. Daniel Chambon. Our director of tennis as well. Tony Pickard, of course, stayed on uh, despite Greg Rosetsky's defeat. 